Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Blood Elf Rogue playthrough. I think today we're going to finish most of these things up here in the Arathi Highlands. I want to head over here and gather the moats of Misriel first. Then we'll go down to the south and the west uh, to take care of the things down that way. Hope you guys are doing well today, and thank you so much for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I kind of find myself playing this character more and more, uh, trying to do dungeon runs on the warrior to kind of gear up, and my goal was kind of to see some of the heroic dungeons. But as a couple of you pointed out in comments, and as I have kind of found out for myself, there aren't a lot of people running Heroic Five Mans right now. No. <laughs> and, you know, the reasons are pretty obvious. You know, firstly, we're at the end of the Burning Crusade, right? We have pre-patch coming out in the next two or three weeks. And everybody who really wanted to gear up doing Heroics ha has mostly done so, I think, at this point. So we're, we're probably going to miss out on that. I've been doing some of the level 70 normal dungeons, trying to get gear here and there, which has been enjoyable. It's been a good time. It's been nice to see some of the dungeons that we haven't seen yet in the Tempest Keep. There's probably a couple more that I want to do. Uh, Steam Vaults and uh, Black Morass I haven't seen yet in Classic. So there's a, a few more dungeons that I, that I want to do, but... Ultimately, I don't really know if we're going to be able to do a lot of heroic runs. It seems like uh, people are just kind of getting their characters capped, getting a little bit of gear from normal runs, and, uh, you know, just kind of waiting for Wrath to come out, which makes perfect sense. So I might be spending more and more time on the Rogue. I might jump onto other characters to spend some time on them as well. Obviously, the next big thing that we're really waiting for is we're waiting for pre-patch to drop and for the Fresh Start servers to open up. But yeah, that, that's probably two or three weeks away, if I had to guess. I know some people th think that the pre-patch is going to start on the 9th. If the pre-patch is going to start on the 9th, they're going to have to tell us that pretty soon. They gave us a, a heads up when the Burning Crusade pre-patch was going to come out. We got dates for that. We got dates and length, uh, you know, because it was only a two-week pre-patch, which did not make anybody happy, I don't believe. Alright, somewhere back here, there's a pathway <laughs> that leads us into a cave. Uh, I'm just... I'm not finding it right now. Uh, where is it? Maybe it's back this way. Yeah, some somewhere we can get back into a cave full of these guys. I think it's right here. This suspicious tree over here, I think, marks the spot that we need to go through. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of depressing not to be able to run a more heroics and like actually do some heroic dungeons. And but ultimately, it is what it is. We're going to be taking the warrior into Northrend. So I mean, he's probably going to be unless something big and drastic changes in the next little while. He's probably going to be the one that we take uh, to Northrend first. I unless I fall in love with whatever we play during on the Fresh Start realm. You know, that's always a possibility. But the warrior is going to see Northrend no matter what. Uh, whether he's the first character or the second or the last, he's going he's gonna to get there. So, you know, for now, I'll, I'll probably run the occasional dungeon on him just to see some of the new, some of the dungeons we haven't seen yet on him, but probably going to be spending more time here on the Rogue uh, for the time being. I'm assuming that the pre-patch is not going to come out on the 9th. I think it's going to be the week after that, at the, at the earliest. Uh, because, you know, we're getting Wrath on the 26th of September. So, if we release on the third week of August, that should give like five or six weeks prior to the prior to the expansion launching, which is a decent length for a pre-patch. Five or six weeks with the experience buff on a fresh start server, is that going to be enough to get characters to level 70? That, I don't really know. 
It took us three months to get our warrior from level 1 to level 70 without the experience buff. Granted, we had the XP buff for the last two levels. And it took about 160 or 170 hours. Uh, if we cut that down, now we're not cutting it down by half, we're cutting it down by about a fourth if we have a 50% experience buff. That's not going to shave a whole ton of time off of it. We're still talking probably about 100 hours of gameplay. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes, but it, it still feels like even with a 50% experience bonus, it's going to take a long time to level up. I, I, I really can't say whether a five week period is going to be enough time. I mean, it's enough time for some people, right? Some people are going to get on and they're going to play four or five hours a day. And for those people, the five weeks is probably going to be more than enough time to get a character capped. Uh, how much do I plan to play? It really depends on a lot of different things. So far guys, I, I haven't even decided what class I'm going to play. It, it's still, it's up in the air. It's going to be Horde side. We're, we're playing Horde for the, for the fresh start. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to be a Paladin or a Shaman. So, that's kind of where I'm at. I really want to play a Paladin with all the nice Paladin changes that happened. But, then again... Part of me doesn't know what I would do on it. Part of me doesn't know. There's, there's so many choices on the Paladin. I can tank, I can heal. We can try Ret DPS. I think Ret DPS started to be a real thing. I don't know if it was a real thing, but I remember that we always wanted to have a Ret Paladin for an additional Paladin buff. So we'd always bring at least one Ret Paladin along on raids and stuff. But then I'm really interested in uh, an Enhancement Shaman. So at this point I could really go either way. I kind of want to make the Paladin a tank, but I, I've kind of been told by a few different people that Paladin tanking are still not the best. Also, I'm going to be tanking on the Warrior and probably on our Death Knight as well, which really just makes me want to level something up to, uh, to DPS on, which probably wouldn't be a Paladin, I guess. I could go with something totally off the wall and we could level a mage. At this point I really don't know what I'm going to do. What's turning me off from the shaman is the same thing that always turns me off from the shaman is I really hate the totem quest. I really hate ev each and every one of the totem quests and I'm pretty sure they didn't get changed at all for wrath. Uh, yeah, huh, um, what's going on here, I'll decline this, cathedral, yeah, sure. Yeah, I would definitely, I put myself in the queue for some dungeons, I, I didn't actually think that we would get an invite, but uh, I will definitely go ahead and, uh, Join a cathedral run. That'll be cool. Uh, let's do evasion here. And maybe a potion would help as well. 
I don't want to. I didn't want to group up here because I, I don't want to share drops uh, on these guys. I'm, I'm not. I don't think this needs to be a group quest here. What do we got, and what are we looking for? We are probably looking for a tank. <laughs> You're, we have all the classes we should need for a healer and a tank, but something tells me that we might be looking for a tank. We have Blade Flurry back up. We can go in here on these two guys. Well, maybe the Paladin was the tank after all. Uh, nobody's really close. I mean, technically, we are among some of the closest, so maybe I ought to head to the stone. Because, yeah, I don't think uh, anybody else is any closer than us. Somebody is in Orgrimmar. Undercity, Desolus, Thunder... They're, they're all on the other continents. So maybe I ought to uh, maybe I ought to head to the stone. I'd like to finish this quest up. I'd like to finish this quest. That is what I would like to do. Just because we have eight out of twelve already, we're we're pretty close to being done. And uh, if we can finish this, then I will I will head out. I could actually just blow my hearth. No, I can't. My hearth is still set to Grom Gold Base Camp. How sad is that? It's pretty sad. But yeah, we'll try to finish up here quickly, and we'll we'll head out and help summon. I'm not gonna cut it into a different video. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a marker in the playhead so that if people want to just go right to the dungeon content, they can do that. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to cut it out into a different video for this one. It'll just be part of, uh, part of this. Just to keep it simple. And I, I think when I play from now on, I, I am just going to put myself in the queue for some dungeons and see what we get invited to. Because apparently if you are a DPS and you sit in the queue for a few minutes, you can get an invite to a group. Uh, without putting in really any effort. There's probably a lot of people trying to level up characters now that we have the XP buff. I just don't know if like grinding in dungeons is really like a way to go. It's not a it's it's not a 100% XP buff, it's only 50%. So... But we could definitely use uh, use a chance at some loot out of there. I don't, I don't really know what drops in there for us, but we'll see. I'm interested to see what the what the kill experience is like. And I just like pressing the buttons on the rogues, so any opportunity to do more of that just kind of makes me happy. Let's go ahead and heal so we don't die. Keep an eye on my health here.
I think it would probably be best if we hit level 39 before we get to the last boss of Cathedral. I thought they were like a bit of a higher level. How? What, what's everyone else's level? 37, 38? No, we should be good. Everyone else is about the same level we are, so... I also like how this quest has completely stopped dropping the item. We were getting so many for a while, and then I was like, hey, let's finish this. And the game was like, no. Let's not finish it. And we do have a couple of people headed to the stone, so... We could get a summon any time. Uh, we'll see if we do have time to finish this. this. That would be great, but at this point... With the way the drop rate has kind of just fallen flat, I'm not really counting on it. Yeah, there just aren't aren't a lot of enemies up in here. We were competing with enemies with the uh, warrior who was back here. And the things are just not respawning very quickly, are they? Uh, probably not. I have not worked on uh, my lock picking really at all. It's not really a high priority for me. I know, like, for some people that's blasphemy, but... I really don't care too much about the locked chests. Yeah, they really did just stop dropping the item, didn't they?
All right, it looks like we are going to be able to complete this one after all. Uh, I'm not going the right way. Oh yeah, I am. Okay. I'm going to sneak past some of these guys now that every single enemy has respawned and we don't need any of them. And we'll have to take out the two over here guarding the turn-in. Alright, not bad, and uh, now we just have to wait for a summon. We could just grind in the cave here for a minute. And uh, maybe if we do enough grinding, we will grind ourselves right to level 39. Wouldn't that be enjoyable? Well, we didn't hit 39, but we got awfully close. Let's go ahead and get into things here. I guess that means I don't have the key for this place, uh, from Armory. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll reset. Let's get some potions going. And we want to get poisons going as well. Nope, not crippling poison. That's not what I need. I need some instant poison. Oh, we're going. We're just going. Okay. I am going to wait until I have... Uh, poison... Put poison on my weapons here before I go do anything. Alright, there we go.
Oh, he has uh, gotten quite ambitious. Quite ambitious indeed. Kinda makes me wish we had some more uh, AoE. Because apparently we can pull uh, very big groups. Alright, let's see what he's going to do. It looks like he's going to round all these guys up. The problem with that is that a couple of them are casters, so... I don't really know. I want to see how he does this. I guess he's just going to range them. Uh, yeah, we can come in here and give that a kick. We've got a couple of runners uh, going all around the place here. Perfect. We did level up, so I should probably go ahead and spend a point. We're going to go into weapon expertise here. Looks like he's going to pull them all back here, so we will wait.
Gonna wait for him to get line of sight. Alright, looks like he's pulling them right here. Let's go in on the sorcerer. Uh, looks like we hung out a little bit too close here. I'm going to keep track of how many bubbles we get into the level for this to see, is it feasible to dungeon grind with the experience buff? I don't really think that it is. I don't think it's enough XP to like make it worth dungeon grinding over. Like You could probably do it, sure, but is it better than questing? No, it's probably not going to be better than just straight up questing. Uh, we've got action going on over here. That's quite a sight to see.
Let's see how he approaches this. Uh, I'm gonna hang back here for a minute. That seems good. If only we could have Blade Flurry on a 1 minute cooldown, we could actually contribute to more AoE damage. We could probably move in a little bit now and use the pillars as line of sight if he wanted to do that. Reduces threat, yeah, that's probably better.
I mean, so far the experience in here has been really good, but we've been pulling really big groups and making really quick progress. Well, that is that. Uh, we'll get rested up here, and then we will go in on the final boss. I love being a rogue, because we never have to drink our mana back. We are hardly ever hurt. Uh, it's a good time. We just have to kind of stand around and wait for everybody else. This 
treachery. The light has spoken. At least we'll have Blade Flurry up for this part. At your side, the lady. And yeah, there we go. A shield dropped and a cloth helmet. Neither of those are things that we need, but we did make progress towards completing a quest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, we got uh, two bosses down. We do need to get Herod and uh, Hound Houndmaster Loxley. If we do that, we get a pretty decent one-handed sword. Uh, I don't know if it's really much better than what we have. It's a little bit better uh, than what we have. Yeah, we probably do want that, in fact. So, yeah. Um, they want to go again? Uh, I guess I really wouldn't mind going again. If they want to do that, uh, I'd be okay with it. We got about seven bubbles out of it altogether. It seems like it's probably worth it to go again. We're not going to get level 40 out of it, but... Uh, it's just basically free experience. Just for hanging out in the group. Let's go ahead and reset our meters here. Let's take a look at the uh, overall. Overall, not bad. Our DPS is uh, low, as you might expect, with our inability to do much AoE. We'll let him go out there and do his thing. We know that he'll bring him back. This group really could have benefited from a mage with some uh, awesome blizzard action.
Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's all, like, pretty by the book. You can just kind of zone out as a DPS and just focus on the lowest health enemy. Try to keep our blade flurry going whenever it is up. Not really too much to think about from this perspective. It's quite a change from being used to tanking every dungeon that we're in. Kind of enjoy DPSing quite a bit. Every time I DPS a dungeon, I realize how much I actually enjoy it. In this case, I wish I could be a little bit more useful. I wish we had uh, some some bigger AoEs for this, but... We are what we are, and what we are is a rogue. Can I not get up here? That seems weird. Here we go. I think we could join him down here at the top of the stairs.
Can we do this before our potions and poisons run out? 19 minutes? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to clear it in that time. These wizards, when they start doing the arcane explosion, they actually deal quite a bit of damage to us. Uh, it's kind of a nasty ability that they have. Huh. I feel like one of the only useful things we can really do is to kick the heel that goes off.
Uh, there's still a guy alive in there. I'm not sure if that's going to cause a problem or not. Worst case scenario, he pulls when the boss pulls. Uh, which would not be much of a hindrance at all, I don't think, with the group that we have and the DPS we have going out here. Infidels. They must be purified. Yep, there he is. Not going to have Blade Flurry up for this one, unfortunately. I probably should have timed my cooldowns a little bit better. Got a divine shield going on. And he's down. There we go, guys. There's two back-to-back -back runs of Cathedral. We got most of the way through a level, so yeah, probably worth it. I don't think that dungeon grinding is really the way to go. I think you're going to be better off just out there questing in the world, doing dungeons every now and then for some upgrades and stuff like that, completing quests, etc. But yeah, it was a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you think. And as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime soon. Bye now.